Today on Premiere Prep, I review my everyday video editor of choice, Kden Live. Hello Film Worlders, it's me your host Micah Pendleton. Let's talk video editing. A popular video of mine is the review I did on the ShotCut video editor, which you can watch here. But ShotCut is not my everyday video editor, and one of the questions I get asked the most is what is my everyday video editor? In fact, this episode is a viewer request from Ace the Dolphin Guy, so big thanks to him for that. For the past year and a half or so, it's been Kden Live. I've used Kden Live for every episode of Film World since I started using it. I absolutely love Kden Live and would love to show it to you guys. The version I'll be reviewing is 1512. It's the latest stable release and is the most readily available version in most of the software repositories at the time of this recording. Now, what is Kden Live? For those that are unaware, Kden Live is an open source, non-linear video editor that is developed by the KDE team. It was started by Jason Wood back in 2002, and today it is seeing more development than ever before. And that's no joke either. Kden Live right now is more powerful than it was even six months ago, and it's getting many advanced features that only expensive software tends to have. And it's getting more powerful every day. When I look at a video editor, I look for a few basic things. Is it stable? Does it have the basic tools like cutting, cropping, etc.? Is it intuitive and easy to use? Does it have the basic effects that I need like titles and green screening? Does it give a good render? And does it do what it does well? Does Kden Live have all this? Well, not quite, but pretty close. Let me explain what I mean. The first question. Is it stable? In the time that I've been using Kden Live, it's crashed maybe three or four times. With hundreds of hours of use, that's not that bad at all. In fact, many paid software will even crash more than that. For some reason, I've come across some people that say that Kden Live is constantly crashing on them. I would not be surprised if they're running insufficient hardware or something like that because this has not been my experience at all. And my desktop is not really even that good. Number two, does it have the basic tools? Completely. All the basic tools you will ever need are right there in Kden Live. Cutting, cropping, fading, split audio, color tools, you name it, it's all there. I really can't think of a single basic tool that Kden Live is missing. For the third, is it intuitive and easy to use? Actually, one of my favorite parts about Kden Live is its UI and great use of keyboard shortcuts. It's very straightforward and very easy to use and allows for a great effective workflow. It's also very professional looking, except for its color theme. The default color theme is an ugly, outdated white look. And unless you're on the KDE desktop, which I am on my desktop, it's not very easily changed. But if you are on the KDE desktop, the color themes that are available to you look amazing. I wish that Kden Live came bundled with at least one dark theme. That would be huge. The fourth question, does it have good effects? For me, my NLE is not where I go to do VFX. That would be like trying to drag race a Prius. However, I do like doing basic titling and green screening and such within my NLE. But to answer the question, most of them are sufficient. The color tools are surprisingly good as I showed in this episode, and many of the audio tools are pretty nice as well. But the green screening is just okay. Not horrible, but I would prefer it to be better. I still prefer to jump into Blender for any of the green screening I do, and I would really wish that I could do some of the basic green screening within Kden Live. Now don't get me started on that titling tool! It's absolutely horrible. 
I love all the hard work that the developers have put into this amazing piece of software, but this tool I just greatly dislike. I should be able to just click on the tool and start writing directly onto the video, not this separate text editor that doesn't even show your footage. Now, a tool that I use all the time and absolutely love is Affine. I've used this on pretty much every episode of Premiere Prep. When I do this thing, and this thing, it is me, your host, Micah Pendleton, and this stuff. And make sure you follow me on Twitter, follow the Film World Google Plus page, and to subscribe to the Film World YouTube channel if you haven't already. It's super straightforward, customizable, and just works. Does Kden Live give a good quality render? Yes, once you get past the confusing render menu with numbers that don't make sense, like uh, what's the difference between 3, 5, and 8, you should let me know. Is 3 the best or is 8? But once you get past this, the renders actually look quite good. Now the big question, does Kden Live do what it does well? I can't answer this with just a yes or a no. It does a great job doing the basics like cutting and cropping, and even many of the advanced features do great. But it just needs some polishing. I guess I'm just being so hard on it because I think it's so awesome and just want a few of these things fixed. I'm really just nitpicking. A huge thank you to the developers of this software for making such an amazing tool for us to use. Kden Live is a big part of my day-to-day -day life and it is a great and enjoyable part at that. I love it. Soon I'll be showing you how to work in Kden Live, but next week I'll be showing you how to do the annoying orange effect in Blender, hopefully. So make sure that you tune in for that next Sunday. I hope I can get it figured out by then. All right guys, thank you very much for watching. Remember to like the video, share the video, comment, and subscribe. I'm your host, Micah Pendleton. Remember, dream big, pay small. I'll catch you next time.